Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to a beautiful afternoon in the canyon. We've got a little, got a little lens flare going on there. Today we're going to do things a little differently than we ordinarily do. We've got the rift here. Uh, sounding all loud and noisy because I swapped in the. I I, I did a couple things. We've uh, we've fiddled with some. Well, let's just let's just get in frame so you're not just staring at a bunch of rocks. I swapped in the Traxxas spur in place of the Kimbro because I wanted to try that stiffer gear. Uh, as you can see there, the, it's the the carbon the Amazon carbon bead locks are in there on the sticky USD stickies. So we're trying to bring that corner weight down a little. Uh, pinion is still the 12. I haven't changed springing or anything like that. I, I mostly, I wanted to try the other spur out and it's a little noisier, I think probably because it's more, probably because of the rigidity of it. I've only barely touched wheels to rocks to see how I feel about the lighter weight wheels. I don't, I, don't, I honestly, I don't know yet. I'm trying to get there, there we go. I was, I was trying to do exactly that, believe it or not. I feel like it's added a little, a little nimbleness that may have been lacking because, what was it, 356s? 356 grams per corner is, that's, that's really heavy. Uh, even taking into account how big and heavy those stickies are. I don't know how I feel about the, 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 the spur gear. I think, I think the Kimbro is a little quieter. Uh, perhaps just because, you know, uh, if there's any point where I've built some stuff, uh, there's probably an opportunity for the mesh to get messed up a little. But so far, it feels pretty good. The, the Amazon Carbons, oh, that's a perfect, it's like how baseball players can't hit a baseball when it's coming out of shadows. Uh, a camera can't focus if, <laughs> if the, the rig is just in a little pool of darkness amongst the bright sunlight. There's, uh, there's the flex that we've come to know and love from a uh, Rift crawler. The Rift has really come around for me. Uh, when I first got it, I was like, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the whole bouncer thing. It's not really, it, it's not my, uh, it's not my wheelhouse. It was fun to wheel, you know, but I'm more of a, I guess I've made the full transition into a go slow guy. So it was, can we make this thing crawl? And the answer to that is, I mean, I, I think it's undeniably yes. It's big and heavy. It's long. It's like, it's like getting yourself. You're, you're halfway to an SCX six on this. I mean, it's. This is seventh scale at least, maybe close to sixth. And you could run the wheelbase out bigger, I think, and it wouldn't look weird. You could even go to a bigger tire. You could put some SCX six tires on here. But luckily for me, the stickies are tremendous on here. I'm trying a little more. Ah, uh, that's better out in the sun. It just because I okay. Let's let's make short story long. I've not been much of a cage guy. I have a Capra. Oh, I had a Capra, and then Zoidberg broke out of his cage and became an uncapra. And then that Capra went on to Misdirection. And Misdirection, definitely still a work in progress because uh, I think the cage, I think the, I think a cage, honestly, just works better at this scale. Like it works better for this. And a big part of the fun here is that the, the rift is not by its fundamental nature a rock crawler. It's born as a bouncer, but the more I looked at it, the more I thought, well, what makes a crawler other than what we do with it? 
you know. It doesn't have to be a rock bouncer. I think this is the reason I don't drive a laser nut very much because what is it? it can I make it to be something that I want? A laser nut? It's a long wheelbase short course truck with a buggy body? Oh, I'm in a, I'm in a bad, I'm in a bad situation. Uh, the more I got thinking about the rift, the more I thought I, I can make this into something that I want. I can, I can make this into a rock crawler. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm being too, uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is a rig switching mental issue when you, when you go from one to another. I think the last thing I wheeled was Jake. Very, very different, very different trigger feel, very different everything, this relative to Jake. Very, very dusty out here. I'm hoping that in that sunlight you can see the clouds and dust coming up off that very dry, and the t how brown the tires are turning. Oh. I still, I think I'm using a little too much wheel speed. Yeah. So dusty. I think if I'd hit this with the leaf blower, maybe a little bit. There we go, that's where I wanted that. Now, I wanna get this, I wanna get the rear end over without pushing the front end over. It's just so skatey. Oh, look at that dust. And this is ordinarily, I would ordinarily be sitting in a different, the bucket chair would be located differently for a better sight line on this. I've never really, uh, I've never attacked this particular obstacle section from this angle. It's a very different thing. Try crossing the face a little. I think with the, yeah, that's much better. With the, uh, I'm running 22 millimeter hubs on here and it's almost precisely the same uh, wheel track that it was on the alloys. I don't, I don't feel like I notice the missed weight of the combos coming down. Uh, I think I think it's pretty good. We're gonna try to reroute here. A little scrape. That's that that's that bone wheelbase right there. Okay. Okay. Now can we can we rise up? Yeah, see that long wheelbase helps you do things like rise up right here. Well that's 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 pretty nice. So it's just, it's a constant, it's, it's a learning curve. It's a learning curve in driving these. I've, I haven't been at it this long relative to my experience in RC in general. So, oh, it uh, does land on its wheels. Uh, because it's so heavy, I wanna stay, uh, say that, you know, we dropped, uh, so I think I've already forgotten on the scale. Uh, 70 grams per corner, 280 grams. I think just just under 12 ounces, three quarters of a pound. So we, we might actually be back around that like eight and a half pound mark, which is where the rig, between eight and a half and nine pounds. I feel pretty confident in saying that. I haven't, I haven't really gone through any of the scaling or anything yet. So this installment is definitely going to be brief by my standards. I spent a most of the day, not just the morning, but most of the day uh, w working on this and others. There, uh, this was a this was an all wrenching Sunday, and at the end of all that wrenching, I thought, man, wouldn't it be great to go get some wheeling in? Come on, bring that turn around. Look at it go. It feels really good, genuinely good. So, no, I can't remember who knocked that. I can try to remember who knocked that rock out. Uh, I gotta, I gotta splurts that back down. So, here is Robo Kitty, the crawling rift, 400 millimeter wheelbase, USD stickies, the CF wheels, which I think look pretty darn good. I'm uh, the dual 60 kg flash hobby direct powers. Castle Copperhead with a 2100 KV 1412. 
I can never remember if it's the 1412 or the 1415. Uh, it's a little castle noisy. But I, you know, I can definitely live with it. I'm, I'm, I'm still, I'm still at this point blown away by the performance of just straight up TRX4 high, long arm, long arm TRX4 long arm shock springs just thrown onto these. I did change the cups so they would fit a little better, but uh, that, that's effectively it. It's got the the lighter rate in the front and the heavier rate in the rear. Uh, uh, go figure. I think because the rear shocks are so long that the, the springs are I have those collars way down the collars in the front are way up it, it was just randomly chosen I pulled them out of the bin and they just they just worked so I think most notably and what we'll mention here in closing is that there'll, there'll definitely be more to come on this one there's going to have to be because the thing I need to mention the thing that's most important about the rift as it sits before you right now Robo Kitty the rift is that uh, if we pan the camera over a little bit like this, uh, you might notice you might that that might be a familiar object to you. Like, I think anyone who has a rift or has driven a rift should have some inkling or notion of what that is. Yet, the rift drives still. So I ask you. Gentle viewers, followers of the canyon, in his spare time, what has he done? What did he do? Gonna have to tune in for the next one and find out, everybody. That's how we're gonna do this one. It's like a clickbait episode. Have a good one, everybody. We will see you in the next one.